Oh, we're doing Yuri. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oops. Oh no. I've been waiting. I've been for waiting for she's about to do something to us. Uh, she's about to start touching herself. <laughs> we, you mean by just cutting, right? You mean, you no, mean cutting. I, I mean, okay, yeah. Yuri Thug. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding you. Ah, uh, I mean, the poem turned out to be good. <laughs> it's a. Well, there are some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Bro, oh, that's crazy. Yuri's she likes cutting obsessed. herself, and, and and she gets pleasure from it. <laughs> Real freakazoid here. The ultimate gooner, bro. Yeah, straight uh -huh. gooner. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha. That came a little. That came out a little awkward. But let's move on. Here's a poem I wrote. You don't like to. Ha you don't have to like it or anything. Oh my God! Good luck, Abel. Ah, Camille. Wait, what is that? Is, is there a stain on the paper? Blood stain. Yeah. There's a stain on the there's paper. There's multiple That's the first stains. Time I've seen that. Oh, there's multiple stains. Abel. Okay. You might have some uh, some Fuck, goon juice on your paper. Watch out when holding it. A goon juice. Wheel. A rotating wheel, turning by an axle, grinding. Bolted, 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 bolted head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A torn harness. I swear to God, this is so hard. A co okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna speak up. <clears throat> a torn harness, a pa pa parabolic. What the fuck? Parabolic. <laughs> Para a parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by skipping cogwheels, existence of God swimming with an open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connected all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, a frosty of oh, 40? 40 gear, and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time. Oh, what the fuck? Every, every time it ticks every second time. Oh, what the hell? That's cooking. A bottle of holy <laughs> skate steaks, tied of the existence of a dark ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time devouring prayer connecting the sky of 40 gears and an open eyes, open human eyes in all direction, breathing gearbox, breathing bottlehead, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god. Breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Oh my god, I, I'm not doing her voice ever again. <laughs> Yo, she kind of cooked. <laughs> she cooked, brother. That hurts so That's so that unsettling. So what the much. heck? <laughs> what yeah, the that, fuck no, that's, that's cooking. That's cooking right there. That's some type of shit. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if she copied that from like one of the greatest poets. Dude, oh, shit. what are these stains? Oh, fuck. What the Dude. fuck? Yeah, no, nah, that's just like a... Uh -huh. Oh, I need to breathe. <laughs> uh, it's oh, my, my throat, throat really actually matter. hurts. It's insane. Mia, what do you think of that poem? It doesn't really matter. I don't know. It kind of scared me. I don't know. She said Yuri's too many big words. <laughs> scary. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking? What? What if, what? What if Monica isn't the only sentient one what, what if like the other three girls are like semi-sentient right mm -hmm. because like if they're just code then like if something happened that wasn't supposed to happen they just break you know but like they go along with it you know but like by no by that logic right hmm. by that logic right uh sayori wouldn't have died then she would have you know what i'm saying no, no, that, that's if what I'm saying, because Sayori was never supposed to, she was never supposed to die, right, in the actual game. So when mm -hmm. Monica diverted it, if Sayori was just code, she would have broken, like uh, the game would have crashed or something, right? Like, it, it was, she wouldn't have been able mm -hmm. to do what she did to kill herself. Uh -huh. Like, and I'm seeing the same things with Yuri, like, uh, like, I feel like Monica is like the most sentient, but I do think the other girls are at least a little, maybe. Semi-sentient? Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know.
the thing about Monica is that like she's smart, like she knows what she's doing, and the other girls, <clears throat> they just go along. Oh, with what it. if the other girls actually do believe they're real? Like they they genuinely believe like the their lives are like, you know, like the, it's actually happening, and Monica knows, you know, oh, Monica knows that she's they're in the just game. NPCs. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe. Bro, we're getting to the good part of the game. This game is so good. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. It's so good. <sighs> Also, crazy statement here. What do you mean? It, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, matter what's, what it, it's about. My mind's been a little hyperactive lately. So I had to take out your pen. Take it out on your pen. On your pen? Interesting. Yeah, I think, I think Monica's fucking with her with her mind here. Uh, that, that's what? it. That is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday. So I took it home for safekeeping in. Wait. It vibrates. I'm just joking. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Guys, am I like crazy here, or is <laughs> does that not sound a little like she uh? She like, used it as a tool. Yeah, like she you gooned with saying? it. <laughs> she gooned with it. Gooned with it. I don't see how you can goon with a pen. I think it's too thin, but like, <laughs> like. That's why know. I said. Your pen vibrates. That's crazy. There's a way. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Like this. <laughs> That's crazy. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> I th <laughs> Bro, Yuri is like obsessed. Dude, she's not well, dude. <laughs> she's insane. She's crazier <laughs> than Ashley. What the heck? I, she's um... actually insane. Oh my god. Dude, she good really with it. She good with the, it. Oh the way my god. It, it writes. <laughs> so this poem with it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And now you're dude, touching. Dude. Things. No way. Duh, bro, duh. I don't think you're supposed to be like this. I think this I is only happening. Cause... I think this is only happening because Sayori's gone. Yeah, because Sayori's gone. Because the timeline's different. I don't think Yuri's supposed to be like this. Bro, that little shit that bad. popped up at the corner of your screen scared me. <laughs> that, was just, that was just a Steam notification. You're good. I know. <laughs> they saw it and I was like, <laughs> Dude, she's a gooner. She needs to be in jail. Oh my god. I'm bro, about... she's crazy. <laughs> Uh-huh. There's no music. Oh, you didn't it. hear me the first time? No, I didn't, we didn't hear it. I'm okay. What did I just... Yeah, this isn't supposed to be happening, bro. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is off, man. This is off. Can, can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. What the fuck, dude? She's crazy. She's so freaking crazy, it's scary. <laughs> yeah, dude, oh my Yuri, god. Yuri is actually, like... She may be a little too much, you know? Uh, and you guys were calling her second best girl, bro. There's no hey, way. Hey, now she's first best. Now she's first <laughs> There's no, my god, After no. Hey, I saw she's a real gooner. She's first best now. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I, uh, guess what? This, I guess what happens the moment he, he takes a look at the... What the fuck? <laughs> you would have been to buy... Five seconds after you they were that about girl. Girl. <laughs> no, but... I don't know, I just... I was looking for something like funny on the internet. Yuri to a bell's point. Nigga was like, crazy. <laughs> nah, that's me to. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't go. I'm not gonna go that wild into this joke. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that is wild. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one, but I can't really say it's any better either. I hope this isn't a repeat. This might be a repeat. So I think like, there just might be a. Let's yeah. speed run. Let's speed run. Huh? Feel what? Well, anything isn't. That isn't a train wreck. I'll take us a win. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Moist critical hey, what? Do you... Maybe that was a compliment? <laughs> good to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll... Be as good as me one day. That's, uh... Something telling me that's like you completely missed the point. Just make sure you find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? Oh, this is new. Shit, damn right. I mean, I know you've been, like, spending some time with her or whatever but you know monica and i are just as good as her at, at, at poems i mean so you should really try to learn something or you'll never get better here's the one i wrote i'll make sure you learn something from it interesting yeah, it's the same one as last time no this is it, it's the same one yeah uh yeah it's the same one isn't it one time i heard my like mm -hmm. bed and we have oh, like spiders and hands of probably ghosts yeah seems pretty word for word I feel like it might be different, but it's the same shit. But I don't really yeah, remember. Same it, 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 could be the, it could be the exact same uh, wording. I, I mean, it starts that. and ends the exact same way. Yeah, and I read a couple of the paragraphs, and they're the, the same message, so. 
The music is weird. And that, yeah, the music is weird. Yeah, that's why. That's why I'm trying to reread it. Yeah. Like, are you missing something? Ooh, do yeah, you see that it, about it, the heart? Where? The every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. Yeah, it's it's a little different, but mm -hmm. I'm reading a couple paragraphs, and there's nothing like yeah. out of the ordinary. Like, it's the same message, you know. Yeah. It's the same message. I think it's just a little longer, maybe different wording. It seems a bit possessive this time around. Uh, you know, in a weird way. Music's back to normal. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Yeah, as one. Who cares what someone likes as long as you're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Such as two of the girls in this very oh, club, shit. whom I respectfully won't name. Damn. Kind of ironic that even in in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, this time. now you're making me complain too much. Damn. What did I do? Hey, what did I do? Uh, for what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so. And jealous. What you just jealous. Whatever. We're done sharing, so you can leave now. Okay. Yes, I would. <gasps> and you hear me. Is uh, there more or nothing else? That's it. No, that's it, but... Do you guys remember the last one? Can you type, type yes. Okay, I'll type yes. But do you guys remember mm. the last one? Mm. Do you guys remember what it said? No. I think these letters are straight. Mm, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to say it. I think these letters are straight from Monica. Like directly mm. from Monica. Oh, yeah. Monica, I, I could. Like bypassing the game, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah, trying I to remember what the last case. one said. Because the last time, the last uh, secret poem, right? You guys thought it was Sayori. I'm trying to remember why. I forgot what it said. Oh, I'm going to type yes, see what happens. Oh, I'm scared the oh. shit out of me. Wait, I typed Y E S. Why is that screenshotting it? I kind of want to open my there's screenshots now like to no see if there's something. like a secret message in the screenshot. Shit. Oh, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, I think, guys. <laughs> oh, is it those? Oh, what happened? Wait. Are Wait. those? I think this is what yeah, the what? comments are talking about. Jeanette? Oh. Yeah, I'm here. All right, you here? You here? Yeah. Uh, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. I am not so sure how... Okay. Can you hear me? Can you oh, hear me? Oh, those screenshots that literally say 3, 40, 58 a.m. Yeah, this is what we just did. But I'm looking, I'm looking here. Characters. Oh, Sayori's not here! Oh, shit. I didn't see that. Bruh. You see how That's much, actually but, insane. You see how much bigger Monica is than the rest of them? Nah, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. She's... <sighs> Oh my god. There's a little devil inside. Who's saying this? There's a little devil inside all of us. I think Yuri said that, didn't she? Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality, is a writhing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find, into their willpower, starving them all of motivation and desire. Into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food. Or into their no newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable, tangled mess is already present in every single one of them. That's why I choose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. That bitch, that's Monica. Yuri said That's this. Monica. Yuri said this, and then Monica mm. explains by saying that all three girls are like shit. Look. Yeah, that's yeah. And then yeah. that's why I choose just... not to blame myself for the action. So Monica, all Monica did was make them free. Yeah, she just let her. She no, she just <sighs> untied the knot in the sense. So like, she just like, she just like imagine like everything they're like is tied up together, right? <clears throat> like they that's how they keep it intact, right? So, like, let's say, like, oh, Sayori was suicidal, right? But it was wrapped up tightly, you know? 
you know, but all is like with a tie. What Monica did, she just came in and just untied it. And when she untied it, it all just became loose and started spilling and fucking her over, you know? She's basically saying like, everyone has this. Oh my God. And it's not my fault. You know what I'm saying? She this... was untying, she was untying their knots that everyone has. Yeah. This is Sayori. This is Natsuki, I'm assuming. And mm -hmm. this is Yuri. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But you see how she says that? <sighs> Yo, Monica is, oh, she is cooking. That's your girl. Oh. Can you hear me? Like, mm -hmm. let's just think about it for a second, right? Because including Monica's third poem mm -hmm. that we read just a little while ago, and then including the title of this, Can mm -hmm. You Hear Me? I kind of feel bad for her. From the vibe I'm getting, Monica is, is not well. Like, she's in pain. She understands that she's alive. Uh, I don't know. Are you... She shouldn't. She's just a crazy bitch. Oh, what's all that I, 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 I. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there. Happy thoughts. August 5th. What did we play? I know what it is. I'm assuming this has to do with Sayori. Yeah. <gasps> Ew. Oh, that's Sayori. Cute drawing. Oh, <laughs> I see. Happy I thought it was thoughts. a noose. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It is a noose. It is. Oh, my God. Bro, that's so creepy. Shit. Yeah, you can see the noose. Hate. What I is hate this? What man. the fuck is this? I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I go. I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Oh, seeing. Okay. Yeah. No. Nah, you see the. You see the the yandere. She's a yandere. I didn't know. I know, wait, I knew she was a yandere. Crazy bitch. Oh, she wants us to see the bad side of all three girls. Yep. And no matter what she does, she can't make herself, like, the, the main point of the game. Yeah. So it's like endless torture. The game won't allow her to be, like, the main girl. That's but, so sad. But even though she I was the main that, girl, just one of them. she still won't delete herself because of this. That means I won't get to talk to you anymore. Oh, if I click S no in screenshots. <laughs> We're kind of stupid. We were actually... Yeah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay, let me, uh... Let me delete this shit. What? That was a low IQ move by yeah, us all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially me. <laughs> what is this? Traceback? I'm sorry, but something unexpected occurred. Yep, she died. She wasn't supposed to. We know. Restart top context. <laughs> Wait, if you scroll up, there's more Wait, text also. Oh, oh my gosh, she's talking. I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec, I could probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making it so difficult. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, she's actually bad at coding. She doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. There was more up at top. Yeah. There's more? Yeah. Oh, it's the same, the same thing. thing. This is still crazy though. This is nuts. Yeah. It was weird though, she was talking from, like... so normally though. Like, she sounds like a normal person here. She sounds based, but she's an ass. She killed my Sayori. The Can You Hear Me one was from a while ago, right? Nope. August 29th. Oh. I'm assuming that's when uh, Yuri said there's a little devil inside all of us. Yeah, beneath their manufactured perception. So yeah, they're, they're code. But I'm guessing she's she's uh, like implying that even though they're code, they're still somewhat alive because of like this. Because they could like <laughs> feel, you know, all this stuff. Yeah. Feel all the gooning. Yeah, yeah. All this stuff is trying to escape... <laughs> They're coded characters. Yeah, I feel bad for her. What do you guys think of this? About Monica? Uh, fuck that bitch. Fuck, no, fuck that bitch. I, mm. I, feel, I feel bad fuck for her. Fuck that bitch. Uh, uh, no, yeah. I, might I, not say I get why. <laughs> Who was that? Oh. Oh. Did we just hear Monica? <laughs> Bro, that not scared bad. me. <laughs> Did we just hear her? Yeah, uh, I think so. Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? What is it? You guys don't hear like, like that, that fleshy sound? That's flesh? Oh, it's music. It's part of the music. Do you guys hear that now? Ew. Yeah. Ew. 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 It's like something munching, bruh. Yeah, no, it's just like, ew, it's nasty. Okay, everyone. Wait, I wonder if it was, if that was always gonna happen? Or if that's because we opened up the uh, the files. Actually, I don't think they'd be able to tell. I don't think the game would be able to tell. 
We're all You'd done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. Hello? Uh... Monica? Uh, Monica? <laughs> Monica, I understand uh, you kind of, you know, mad or a little fucked up from realizing you're alive when you shouldn't be, but, uh, maybe take away this black screen, you hussy. You oh. got problems with black? No. I just never. have to press enter. <laughs> if it was a white screen... Okay, <laughs> alright. If it was a white screen, you wouldn't be that mad. He <laughs> just seems right, like it was well. a black screen, and so... Okay, alright. I don't really do well with last-minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Abel joined and we started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way, too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Abel? Uh... Come on. You can't take advantage of Abel to agree <laughs> just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. <laughs> Look, Monica. Oh, she's about to go crazy. Oh, hell I thought know. you said the N-word. What? <laughs> Who? You. I, I, was, <laughs> I was like sleep drifting Me? off a bit and I heard Yeah. I heard it where I was like, what the fuck? I was like, hold up. And I saw Monica on the stream and I was like, oh, you meant her. Oh, because I said Monica. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're, it sounds like a guh. I was like, geez. Oh, sorry. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? <laughs> Yuri never even talked until Abel joined. Wait, really? <laughs> That's great. Wait. Why is he? Aw. Why is he exposed? Wait, look at the back. Look at the back. She's back. Oh, she's back. That's insane. Oh my god. Why are you acting as if it's like a, like a she like a comeback or something? It's like nah, she's <laughs> the the person back is is a dead motherfucker. Like you know she's what back. I mean? It's not like she's back. She allowed no. It's she's back. Guys. She's still dead, guys. Still dead. As for me, have some depression in your like, tone. You know, what, I what do you just say? like it better than I. I just like it better here than I do at home. Hmm. Oh, you're reading that. I... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, she's reading the game. <laughs> and Abel isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. That's, that's a crazy uh, expose, though. Yuri never even talked until he joined. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Oh, hell no. No, oh, hell no. Natsuki, clearly, shut up. Yeah, no, say, are you? Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Abel want to get more members too, right? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Abel, why did you even join this club? Shit for the hose, no. What were you hoping to get out of this? <laughs> well... That's not really something I can be honest about, is it? Crazy. In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a... Wait, oh my bad. You weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. 
What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's a crime to be a fucking bitch, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about being honest. It's about ch word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. I don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... That... There... Wait, what? There aren't many other places like that for me. Huh. She's lonely. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking away anything. No, Abel. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. Hmm. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... Aww. I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. But she said Yuri never talked, so it was just like... <laughs> Like her and Monica talking, and then, you know, just reading by themselves? Yeah. I guess. Oh, shit. Natsuki stopped uh, packing up her things. Oh, she's crying again. Yeah. I'm going home. Oh, she's quiet, baby. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki's a... Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well... Do you have an opinion for the festival? I don't fucking know. Like, it was... You know? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh! Oh! Who cares about that anxious bitch? <laughs> oh, who cares about that obnoxious brat? <laughs> you didn't have to change the words of the You read brat. both of them wrong. <laughs> Uh, uh, who cares about that obnoxious brat? No, it's it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No, I'm I'm just staying on the screen because I'm just looking, you know. I did not expect this. I don't even know like if Monica's yeah, that's influencing it. them anymore. I don't even know if like what the fuck is going on. I don't even know if they're like just being themselves. Like maybe they're just getting out of control. I think so. Like like she said, she untied the knot. I mean, I like how that nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy that. You're here with me. I'm uh and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Oh N nobody should ever cry if she killed herself. Well Yeah, yeah guys, I, I think mm -hmm. I think this black text is their actual like the NPC's actual thoughts. Like in this case, it's Yuri's actual thoughts. What? No way, that's Yuri's actual yeah, thoughts. Yeah, because like, because like, uh, editing the last videos, right? I, I was mm -hmm. reading a couple of them, a couple mm -hmm. of these like black, uh, black words, right? And it wouldn't nope. make sense if they were Monica. So I was assuming it was just the character that was talking at the time. Like a dark version of themselves. Yeah, or, or like, like Monica said, like. Or dark in her thoughts. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, because like Monica said, they're all rotten on the inside, right? All she did was untie the knot to let them out. Like, I think yeah. these are their actual- what they're actually thinking. Maybe. What the fuck? <laughs> Did I, I should do that? my best to consider everyone's- Yeah, that was insane. That blood is insane. That was nasty. Yeah. What about you, Abel? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decided giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something you can't get anywhere else. I don't think that it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. And that's how I will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. She like crying blood? Oh, with oh each shit. Change in, in the... What? She is. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, your eye. Oh, that's oh, disgusting. Shit. She got Ebola. She got Ebola, man. Remember when Ebola was <laughs> Thank God. With each change... Oh, too late. <laughs> boy, with each change in... Oh, what? I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone every once in a while. So it wouldn't... Oh. So if you wouldn't... If you'd like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. This girl's gonna bleed out. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri? Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. 
but I feel like you deserve to know that I, I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. But Monica... I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we get going about? Ooh. <laughs> she want to trap him we into walking? <laughs> walking with her? Sure. Oh, no. Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Belle before we leave. Just to use, uh, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me, as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. <sighs> oh my god. Dude, this is... Fucker. Why do you guys think that Monica, no matter how many times, in her words, you play the game, right? Mm -hmm. she, like, she can't talk to us, you know? Why do you guys think that? Actually, let me, see the, let me see the exact words again. Yeah, I think it was, uh... Yeah, it's all the same, no matter how many times you play. I can't do anything. I hate this. But she doesn't want to quit, because then she doesn't get to talk to anybody. This is so creepy. She's like stuck in the game, and we're the only entertainment she has. I'm assuming, like us, like the real people, you know? Yeah. yeah. What's she gonna tell us? <sighs> Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Uh, Abel, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy, which is why I'm making the background all static, you know? It's just what I do. I kind of feel like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you. You know, because you're the only other person here who's actually alive, like me. And I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time with how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know, horny out of her mind. <laughs> Sometimes it feels My like you and I are the only real people here. Isn't that just so crazy? You know what I mean? We are, babe. But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Even though I'm the only real person like you. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry. I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things that I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things that I know only you could understand. You get me? So that's why... Wait, wait, no! Please stop it! Come... Shit. Poor... Dude, I'm not I even joking. Like... All she wants to do is talk to somebody else who's sentient. But she can't. Yeah. The game literally won't let her. Yeah, and that's the thing. She, it's not that she, like, wants a bell, like, necessarily romantically or something. She yeah. just wants to interact. Mm hmm Don't make me feel bad for her, nigga. Abel. <laughs> she can't. She's <laughs> you stuck. see everything that's going on, Abel? <laughs> like, I feel bad for her. It isn't. Uh, I can't just like, kill my Sayori. But Sayori's not real. Sayori's not... Well, maybe. That, that's debatable. She might be real. Semi-real. Not as real as Monica, but maybe a little. What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. I feel bad for Monica. This is a good, like, little, like, a... Uh, what's the word for it? Like a... Uh, like a good way to gauge a... Uh, topping put? Somebody. Uh, you know? Like, like uh, I feel bad for her, personally. You know, but Abel doesn't. And I can understand why Abel doesn't feel bad. Yeah, I'm like... You know, it's like, it's like when people try to make me feel bad for Amanda Waller, you know? Like, they tell me her backstory, how like, oh, her daughter or son was like murdered or whatever. Mm -hmm. Her husband tried to get a justice and then he got fucking killed. And because of that, it was a form of vigilantism, which was against their life insurance policy, which made, which made Amanda Waller poor. But I'm like, okay... And it's like, it doesn't justify half the shit she's done in life, man. Dude, like, there are, like, just because you... Just no, cause, but, yeah, but, 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 bad it's, things it's happen to Guppy. It's, it's different because cause Monica is, like, like, she's... How do I explain this? Like, we don't even know if the other girls are real, but we know that Monica is real. You know? Uh-huh. Like, she has feelings and stuff. And whatever she's doing, like... It can be argued that she's technically not doing anything other than like literally erasing files all in the hopes of talking to another of interacting with another person you know yeah with another sentient being yeah 
like technically she's not hurting anybody or anything like all all that she is doing in the game is trying to find a way to contact us but she can't like the game like the Me. like 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 i said the game is coded against her like e yeah. even if there's nothing else going on right the game will literally fade into the next day when she's mid talking like that's crazy and like even here like you can see she's not even an option yeah and that's why she's like, I guess, kind of going crazy because she's taking the most drastic measures, which was like killing Sayori. Because in her eyes, she was the one, like the biggest obstacle. And even that way, like, nothing's going to change. Yeah. So Monica has some sort of control over her environment, but not a lot, you know? Like, she can kill Sayori, but she can't alter, like, the fundamentals of the game itself, you know? Yeah. Like, she literally can't even force a conversation with the player. Like, it's... Like, what? I feel bad for I her. I actually feel bad for her. Personally. Yeah. Personally. Anything new? Um, Nothing new. And I think now I don't even think of it as, like, she killed Sayori, you know? Because, like, I don't know the way I think, like... Here's the thing I want to talk about a little bit. I don't know. The other girls, right? Mm -hmm. Like, the other girls obviously aren't as sentient as Monica. But there's still something there. Like, they have their personalities, right? And even Monica herself said that there is something in their code trying to get out of the shells. Like, trying to get it out, you know? Yeah. So they have their... Speaking into the host. Yeah, yeah. They, they have their little personalities, their little uh, emotions, right? And I think the difference between them and Monica is that Monica knows. Like, she knows she's a game. Or she's in the game, you know? And the other the girls mm -hmm. are semi-sentient and that they have their feelings, right? And they have their little kinks, right? But they're not, they don't know their true nature. Oh, yeah. That's what I've gotten Makes sense. from this session. Seems uh, pretty accurate, brother. <laughs> and I mean, you guys saw how much bigger uh, Monica's file was than Yuri uh, and uh, Natsuki. It was like five times oh, yeah. bigger. Yeah, this is honestly This is such insane. a well-made game. It has so many details. It's yeah. so good. S tier, S tier, easily. Whenever we do that visual novel tier list, two years from now, when we finally finish like four games, <laughs> <laughs> this is S tier right here. Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, I agree with you now. Yeah, I still really love the coffin, but mm -hmm. this is like another level of good. <laughs> this is another level. <laughs> Best character right here. Truly a misunderstood character. Well, so far. Yeah, I mean, we still have to get to the end. I right? still like my Sayori. Yeah. He's got mm. anything else? That's that, that's all I got. Uh, I still don't sympathize with uh, Monica. I don't care. She killed my Sayori, so uh, 